Good morning, Francis. This is Corky the Plum Creek Booksmith, and I'm back again. This time I'm here with this sweet little prayer journal that I've made. Um, I own this little book here, this little uh, foreign book. I f I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's a, it's not a Bible. I really don't know what it is, and I think it's like a Slovakian, possibly, book. I, I'm not sure. But I've had this for a while. I got it at an antique store, and I do have this little book on my Etsy shop for sale. But it occurred to me the other day, wouldn't this make a fun little prayer journal that I could make myself? It's out of copyright, so I don't need to worry about that. So I copied the front of it and made a little seven sig signature prayer book. This little one is already spoken for, but I have plans already to make some more because I've already... Um, printed off several of the fronts and so I'm hopefully going to make some more. I have her tied closed with a length of sari silk. She's um, four inches tall and about two and a half wide as far as the book boards go. It's she's in, She has a fabric spine and the uh, signatures are sewn into this fabric spine and then I have a very lightweight red and white vintage ticking fabric that is over the top of that. I thought the red and white went well with Jesus garments here. Um, I, I called it Jesus My Shepherd Junk Prayer Journal. And each of the seven signatures has a lace trim, either on the front page or nearby, I think. Um, so the, that's so, glued and then sewn on. The front <clears throat> inside cover has this pretty um, picture or painting of a cross. And the back has this angel with a violin and she's in the fluffy clouds. So we'll get started. <clears throat> There's a lot of my um, Christian messages that you can find on my Etsy store. I have those and several of either mine or other makers, um, either prayer cards or some kind of religious um, image. And then um, I have this book here that's falling apart. It's not a Bible. It's some kind of like, I think, sermons maybe or devotions possibly. And it's written in German. And it's from 1883. Or at least that's the inscription was 1883. Could be older. So I have some of those pages within and then I used some of those pages to make some um, little tuck spots and pockets and then some of my own um, clip art um, I put some of my favorite Bible verses in like I've done my other prayer journals which makes it a it's kind of nice and then I like these um, images for some of the um, middle spreads Here's one of those pockets I was telling you about. I made it from the book page and then some, just did some collaging. And then here's a couple angels and that's a place to journal. Little angel here. Oh, and she's a tuck spot. I was thinking one of these little angels was a tuck spot and it's her. So I'll try to remember to, to put something there. And there's another Bible verse. I don't know about you, but when I was a kid in Bible school and Sunday school, we had to memorize Bible verses. And I sure appreciate that 
now, being an older person, you, you know, you, you rely on those Bible verses to get you through some of those days. Some, some good and bad days. So here's a, an image of Jesus knocking on the door. He's a gentleman and he knocks and um, hopes that you will open the door. And then I use some of my um, photo album images. This was the ones that were smaller. And so I, I think I made them even more small. small and use them as little tuck spots here on some of the front pages of the signature. I think there's three. <clears throat> so three signatures has have these little images on with the tuck spots. And then there's a tuck spot here with an angel. And then these are little um, cards that I picked up at a, an antique store. It's a Bible verse and then a, a prayer that goes hand in hand I think with the Bible verse there's a little flip out with the Bible verse and this says God bless our home and these messages are on my Etsy store and they're not this small I've just shrunk them down to fit this book And that one is the full spread. This is kind of fragile, so hopefully that'll last for a while. If not, you can use that in um, collage, maybe. I love this image of Jesus. And he. this card will come off and you can write on the back for more journaling. Here's a little belly band I made with one of those images, and I think these as well are available on my Etsy shop, I think. And then <clears throat> I remembered I had some of these little envelopes that were um, extra button envelopes. So those, those work well, and so some more of those little prayer and um, scripture cards. There's a pocket in the back and a pocket there and some ticking fabric and then Jesus here I think everybody has this Jesus in their home or at least grandma or aunt Goldie had that in her <laughs> in her um, home and so there's that and another tuck spot with an angel and another prayer card scripture card there's a guardian angel walking these little kids home helping them find their way home another little pocket with a couple cards in There's another one of those uh, photo album slot cards there. Another pocket with three journaling cards and, well, two cards and then one of those uh, scripture cards with prayer on the back. Another flip out with a pretty image. And there's another pocket here with some cards with some string on. I'll count the pages and have that in the description below. Pretty image of Mary. Another button, extra button um, 
extra button envelope sorry and it has a pocket behind and then a pocket here of course and I'll make sure that there's something inside that pocket This one doesn't have a tuck spot. My big hands are kind of in the way of you seeing all the goodness here. There's another pocket made and it hides behind that flip out. And this is kind of a belly band envelope. You can see that that goes all the way through and there's a card here. This is decorated with a pretty um, cross image and then this comes open and I think I don't know if there's anything in there or not I'll make sure there's something in there I had something in there earlier but I think it was too short might have to get the tweezers out there's another pretty image and it's removable and you can write on the back there's another one of the photo album slot took spots with um, an image of Jesus and a little child and that just sneaks right back up there another pocket and this one I made so that you could get to it this way just kind of open it up nice and big there's a dove and that's a cross image like at a grave site with all the flowers around it and like I said just open the book up and you can get to this little card here Another journal card to write on. Flip out. Another extra button card with trust in the Lord and some cut um, off cuts for extra journaling space. And you can write on the back of that. little pocket here a little corner pocket uh, from book page and some more of my images and uh, an angel in the back belly band here with a, a card in it there's Jesus in the garden praying before being crucified another button pocket with an off cut and there is a there's a pocket in the back and the pocket in the front I will look around for some more little things to put in. The back is um, dark green cardstock that's been embossed, so it's got a nice feel to it. And that is my little Jesus, my shepherd prayer journal. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you can be reminded of upcoming videos. I hope you have a splendid day and I will see you next time. Bye now.